Hello, my name is Ashkan Rasper, and I am currently a software engineering intern on the Wildfly Electron team. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating how to enable encryption when creating a new file system realm, as well as how to convert an old pre-existing file system realm to a newly encrypted file system realm. We can get started by discussing what is a file system. A file system realm is an identity store backed by XML identity files. Each file contains three pieces of information, the username, also known as a principal, the attributes associated with the identity, and the credentials associated with the identity. Now, what does it mean to encrypt a file system realm? Well, let's start with encryption. Encryption means to use a key that only the server has access to or the server administrators have access to to convert the data from plain text that we can read to a string called a ciphertext that can only be read by the computer if it has the decryption key and cannot be read by any users. This means that if somebody gains access to the identity XML files, even though that they have all the data, they can't read it since it's not legible for them to read without access to the secret key used for decryption. So to access that identity data, that same key used to encrypt the data is also used to decrypt the data, which converts it from the ciphertext back to plain text that can be read by anyone. This implementation of encryption is done through the use of a symmetric key, a key that can be used for both encryption and decryption, called a secret key. Let's move on to the demo. Let's get started with the demo of creating an encrypted file system realm. To begin, let's take a look at an unencrypted file system realm. I've created one already with four identities already in here, Bill, John, Lisa, and Mary. Right at the bat, you can see each of the file name has the username in plain text as part of the file name, as well as the base32 encoding of the name right after it. Let's take a look at one of these identities. We do John's identity, for example. You can see his identity has two portions to it, credentials and attributes. In the credentials portion, we've created a password with the algorithm clear, the format is base64, and then this string that looks arbitrary to us. But what it actually, this string actually is, is a base64 encoding of the string which his password is. So if we run this command, this actually decodes that string to John's password, which is the password I set his identity to. Along with that, you can also see the attributes are all in plain text. We can see the name of each attribute and their value, so he has the roles admin, user, and adult. Now, let's take a look at the example I have created. This example just displays the user's username or principal after logging in. And let's have a look at what the configuration script looks like. This configuration script starts with creating a secret key credential store right here. The secret key credential store is what we're going to name cred store. We're going to set the path of this cred store to mycredstore.cs. It's going to be relative to the, config, the server config directory, and it has two fields, create equals true and populate equals true. The create equals true field checks if this path already exists, and if it does not, it creates this file for us. The populate equals true field checks if the credential store has any aliases in there or any secret keys. If none exist with the alias key, it creates a new one. Now we configure the file system realm. The file system realm has a few parameters. First, we're going to name it fs realm. We're going to set the path to fs realm, once again relative to the server config directory. And now these last two parameters are what we use to define that it is an encrypted file system realm. First is credential store, which we set to cred store, which we specified right up here, so that the server knows that it wants, it needs to use a secret key. And secondly, secret key. This parameter requires the alias of the key that we're going to use from that credential store we specified right here. So in this case, it's key. Now we're going to add an identity to this FS realm. We're going to call this identity quick start user. We're going to give it a password using this mechanism called digest that takes in the realm, the algorithm, the password, and then we're also going to specify the identity which we want to apply this password to. And finally, we're going to add some attributes to this identity quick start user. The attribute name is roles and the values are admin and guest. What we can do is we can run this script for the Wildfly session. That's fine, we configure Electron script and you can see a bunch of stuff has happened and now it's working. So all that's left now is to deploy this app from this directory. Run this command, it'll build the application and deploy it. And now we're good to open up the application. We go here, we just select access secured servlet. Now this is going to ask us for credentials, which we specify quick start user, and the password is password one, two, three, exclamation mark. And if we hit sign in, you can see we've been we've been signed in and it displays our current principal, which is quick start user. Now if we wanted to have a look at what the identities look like, we can do that right over here. If we go to 
we go to standalone configuration, and then as you can see, we specify the FS realm as our file system realm we can do, and in here we can view our identity. Now this identity looks quite different than the one we saw before. Here you can see that we still have the two sections, credentials and attributes, but the difference is now this is not readable at all. If we look, the algorithm is digest MD5, which is what we specified when creating the algorithm. The format is ENC base64. This means it's encrypted and then encoded in base64. And if we were to try and decrypt this string, it wouldn't give us anything useful. We can take a look at that right now. If we run this same, same command as before, you can see that this command does not work. It just gives us a bunch of jargon. It starts with ELY for Electron, but then the rest of it is not readable by us. Moving on to another demo, using the Electron tool to encrypt old file system realms using a command called file system realm encrypt. Here, you can see the help page for this command so that you can customize the command to your liking. But the only three options that are mandatory are input location, where the old file system realm is located, output location, where you want the new file system realm to be saved to, and credential store, where you want the new credential store to be saved to, or you could specify your own credential store. Here, we're going to use the same unencrypted realm from before with the four identities, Bill, John, Lisa, and Mary. What we're going to do is we're going to pass in this location as the old input, the input location for the old file system realm. We're going to save the new file system realm to a directory called encrypted realm. And we're going to save the credential store in the same parent directory and call it credstore.cs. If we run this, it'll create this new file system realm. So what we can do is we can go back a directory to encrypted realm. And we can see there's a directory here, which is the actual location of the file system realm, encrypted file system realm. If we go there, we can see the files here. And you see there's still four files. They're just structured a little differently since the name is no longer a part of the file name. And let's take a look at this one starting with J, for example. We take a look at this file. You can see now the password is fully encrypted. It uses the format ENC encrypted base64 of this file, of this string. The attribute name is now also encrypted and the value is also encrypted. So now none of it is readable by users that have access to the identities and it is all encrypted and nobody can do anything unless they have access to the secret key. Today, we covered two demos. One where we created a file system credential store and created a file system realm using that secret key from that credential store to enable encryption for the realm. This encrypted all the data inside the files so that anyone that has access to the files and cannot make any use of this data without having access to that secret key. We also went through encrypting an existing file system realm to make use of this new encryption feature to ensure that the old realms are not obsolete. I will add a link to this example application, a blog post covering all of these details, and some further documentation to assist with the steps. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to the Wildfly AS YouTube channel. Thank you.